get it right to where it's red hot. Mm -hmm. And you let it cool back down. It's 4.20 p.m. in Denver, Colorado, and William Breathes is hard at work. And then touch the hash to it. Smoking hash off a titanium plate. And pot. Lots and lots of pot. All in a day's work for the nation's first professional marijuana critic. A writer for the Denver Westward. Like many restaurant critics, William keeps his identity a secret, so he gets no special treatment at the pot shops. And in the Mile High City, where marijuana dispensaries outnumber Starbucks, and you're more likely to see a pharmacy as you are a pharmacy, a professional critic provides a valuable service. I was hired as the critic of the dispensaries. The weed thing is definitely a big part of it. People love reading that, I think, and people love seeing the pictures of the herb. I mean, hopefully they are reading my reviews and they can be like, you know, this, this place sounds like the type of place I would want to go to. Older crowd, you know, or, or they, they specialize in sativas. They've got a lot of hash. The place is really skeezy and doesn't make me feel comfortable. Like, odds are it's not going to make anyone else feel that comfortable. If I'm feeling icky in a place, my grandma would feel icky there, you know? Not that my grandma smokes her. I was able to pay with a Visa card. No one takes American Express anymore. American Express will not do dealings with medical marijuana shops. My bud tender was friendly and chatty, asking me what my smoking preferences were. The platinum perps had an orange rind tartness to it, which would have gone great with the sticky sweet smell of tangerine haze. Other more unique strains out of Scott's Cocoa Mix Garden, including Scott's Blue, the Tange, and Face Rec Haze smelled so good I wanted to make a potpourri bowl out of them for my office. And as more and more states approve medical marijuana, this specialty is a growing field. But would-be critics be warned, it's not all easy puffing. This is the one thing that actually only other journalists get is like, yeah, it's fun, I smoke weed, but it's still a job. And it's still, I still have to write, and I still have to meet deadlines, and I still got editors. And The subject matter is a lot of fun, but you know, everything else is a job. And if you don't take it seriously, I'm going to get fired. For The Daily, this is Justin Rocket Silverman.